I sold five paintings in June, which is a very good month for me. But bef before we get to packaging up some paintings, let's start by unboxing some art supplies. So I actually waited for this package for I think about three weeks before we realized that it was actually lost in the mail. Uh, luckily the art store I bought it from were very good about it. They sent me some new stuff as soon as we realized it was lost and um, they also included some extra stuff and they put in a little handwritten note and it was really lovely and made up for the stress uh, of uh, the package being lost because I really needed the varnish for one of my old paintings so but I'll more on that later. I'm actually going to save all of the packaging materials from this package and I'll be using them for a painting I ship out later. I almost always try to save all of the packaging materials because I go through a lot of packaging materials. This first painting was a little butterfly commission painting in my series um, Vintage Bugs that I was doing in the beginning of the summer. I did quite a few commissions of these um, during the beginning, during spring and in the beginning of summer. I think I did at least six small paintings. Which was fun because they were quick and easy to get done, but I think I'm done with them now, at least for now. And I want to get back to some larger works. Coven, which is a very very dear painting to me. I know it's been many people's favorites um, and So I was very happy to finally see it find uh, its forever home and I also had thrifted this vintage uh, frame for it and the customer decided to also buy the frame so that was really nice to see that um, it got to keep this uh, design that I uh, planned for it. So like I said, this is a very dear painting to me. So I went um, kind of all out with the uh, bubble wrap, uh, obviously also to protect the frame because I had not um, shipped any paintings with a frame before, especially not a frame like this one where it's a lot of um, corners sticking out. So I just really wanted to make sure that it got to, that it got to my customers safely and it did. So eventually. So one of the issues I had while I was on vacation was that this and the previous commission they had a little mix-up at the post office where I where I dropped them off. They put the uh, tags on them, I guess, backwards. So the tag that was meant for the commission painting went on the other package. So they both went to my customers, just uh, yeah, mixed up. So yeah, uh, my customers got the wrong paintings, and they informed me of it. 
and I had to um, call this place and that place and the customer service was not very good so I was pretty pissed off trying to figure this out. Luckily my customers were very very good with the whole situation and eventually I got both paintings to the correct addresses. So this was the oil painting that I ordered the GAM var varnish for. And because this had all only been drying for, I think, a couple of months, um, initially the plan was to put a um, temporary varnish on, on it, uh, and then when it's fully cured, uh, either the customer or I will put the final varnish on it, so I don't have to keep the painting for a whole year before the customer gets it. But then I happened to see that Gamvar was available in one of the art stores here in Finland and the special thing with Gamvar is that you can put it on a oil painting before it's fully cured so as soon as it's um, dry to the touch you can put the varnish on and and the varnish will allow it to continue to cure and it still works as a finishing varnish so I won't have to varnish it again in a year which is awesome and so that is why I was so insistent on getting this varnish on the painting before I sent it out and so I did order the varnish like at least a couple of weeks before I was meant to mail this painting to the customer but because of it getting lost in the mail and everything, she did have to wait, I think, uh, almost a couple of weeks before I was able to send out the painting. But yeah, because this customer had to wait so long, I decided to put in a little extra gift for her. Um, I had these uh, polymer clay tiny little bird skull earrings that I made, like, years ago. Uh, when I was still selling on Etsy and I just thought they really fit uh, in with her order so I just decided to throw them in there and hopefully that was will make up for the time she had to wait for the painting. So yeah, this whole summer has been just um, problems with the mail and uh, to be honest, it kind of ruined my summer vacation to have to deal with it all summer. Yeah, I guess with more painting sales comes a lot more issues. Uh, I hope the mail will kind of uh, step up their game in the future. It's their whole job to get those packages there. And this summer they got none of them right uh, the first time around. So. Yeah, I'd love to talk more about selling paintings, but I feel like I need a little bit of guidelines uh, on what to talk about, so uh, maybe leave questions for me that I can answer in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.